Hello coders, we are going to add one new weapon to our collection, Cipina Research, a free machine learning tool. By help of this tool, we can perform machine learning tasks with just drag and drop without writing single line of code. Are you ready? So let's get started. So as you can see over here, I have searched on the Google regarding Cipina Research download. So now here you can find the first link. Just click on it. From here, right side just click on it and you can download Cipina research i have already downloaded it so now let i press cancel now it's a very simple to install just you have to press next now second step once you completed your installation then you have to just open the data set that you want to work on here i'm going to use irish data set which is hello world data set for machine learning so in this data set I have created explicitly some missing values that you can see over here that we will fill by Cipina research tool. You can download this data set from my GitHub account. Link is given in the description of this video. Now in the next step, just you have to click on the Excel options as per your office version. So now let I click on it. After that, you have to click on add-ins at the bottom. You can see go just click on it. Now we have to click browse button. Now we have to go where actually Cipina research is installed program files x86 folder then press s as you can see over here state packet just click on it and we have to select the Cipina dot xla just click on it as you can see over here in my case it is already exist. So do you want to replace it? Let I press no you have to press Yes, so it it is added over here. So now just we have to click on it and press ok When you click ok Here new tab is created with this add-ins just click on it As you can see over here Cipina and press execute Cipina Before that Please remember this let I cancel out before you start execution of Cipina you have to select your data set that you can see over here. I am skipping first column because it is just index. So here I am selecting this entire data set. Now we have to press execute Cipina. Press OK. So now as you can see over here Cipina research has been started. So now we can start our work. So now currently our data set inside Cipina research. So now let's get started. So here is first is file that you can open your data set. It must be in this format either in Veka or txt right. If you want to Excel file then you have to follow our step that we have just performed edit that you can cut copy and paste also you can replace this one is data but we are interested in statistics as you can see over here it is showing descriptive statistics also we can perform some transformation for discrete attributes and continuous attributes as per your requirement so now let me fill the missing data in missing data there are two possibilities that we can perform by either delete the examples or we can replace by values. So now let me replace by values. So now as you can see over here also we can select these multiple columns. Let I click OK. As you can see over here these are continuous value. So let me fill all the values by mean means by average. Let I click on it. It is asking for the second column let I press OK for the next column let I press OK as you can see over here it fills all the missing values in all the columns now here is still remaining so again we have to go to statistics tab then missing then replace by value species click on it so here we do not want by mode. Let me choose the value. 
because here we know iris setosa is missing so now let i remove this value and i want to replace by this one let i press ok so here three variants of species iris setosa iris versicolor and iris virginica so here value is missing so that's why i'm selecting one press ok as you can see over here now it is filled by iris setosa now we have completed our first task handling the missing values so now let me perform descriptive statistics that can be univariate or bivariate let me first click on univariate so please remember what you mean by univariate analysis univariate analysis is the simplest form of data analysis where the data is being analyzed contains only one variable so here we are checking one variable at a time so it does not deal with relationships here is there is no relationship we are checking one variable at a time so main purpose of this univariate analysis is to describe the data and find patterns exist within it so now let i show you this with help of this sipina research so now as you can see over here let i click on first column as you can see over here mean max average standard deviation likewise for sepal length so now here i have selected whole data set now for the next one as you can see over here mean max average standard deviation for sepal width so this way we can perform univariate analysis by checking minimum value maximum value average value standard deviation and other values that you can see over here in univariate also we can check the discrete variables like species let i click on this as you can see over here it is showing the count and frequency now let me perform bivariate analysis so what you mean by bivariate analysis bivariate analysis is used to find out relationship between two different variables it is just plotting of scatter plot we are just plotting scatter plot one variable against another variable on x and y axis so now as you can see over here now let i click on scatter plot so here i have to select x by just drag and drop so let i select sepal length in x axis and petal length in y axis now let i click on it here is by default whole data set is selected as you can see over here by that we can see linear relationship between sepal length and petal width so this way we can perform bivariate analysis let i show you another example let i select sepal width and petal width on entire data set that you can see over here here we can see relationship is not linear now also we can perform bivariate scatter plot with markers so now let i show you this now let i drag and drop sepal length and petal width here we have to select species as a marker on entire data set so now let i click on it as you can see over here red square which is iris setosa here is iris versicolor and iris virginica that you can see over here with marker so this way we can perform univariate and bivariate analysis called as a descriptive statistics now next we have to click on analysis tag now let i click on define class attribute so in class attribute we have to select target variable by just drag and drop and different attributes so we have to select dependent and independent variables 
from attribute selection that I have selected. Now, now let I press OK. As you can see over here, this is target variable and these are the different attributes. Now I am pressing select active examples. Here I am selecting random sampling. I am giving 80% for training and 20% for testing in random sampling. So now let I click OK. As you can see over here left side bottom 120 examples out of 150 selected and 30 examples are idle that we will use for testing purpose. Now before start learning here we have to select our algorithm that we want to work on. So here these are the different induction graph decision tree algorithms. Here also we can perform rule induction. Also we can simulate neural network. Also we can perform discriminant analysis, decision list and other which is naive base. So now let me select C 4.5. Now let I click OK. So here we need not require to change anything. Just press OK. Now in analysis tag we have to start learning. So as you can see over here nice decision tree is created with some rule for the selection of iris setosa, iris versicolor and iris virginica. So as per the input it traverses this tree and final decision is made on basis of this decision tree. So now let me perform testing. As you can see over here when I click on this test there are two options learning set or here if we select inactive examples of databases that we already selected these 30 examples which are idle that we have already separated for testing purpose. So now let I click on OK. As you can see over here confusion matrix by that we can find different values like accuracy, precision, recall. So now also we can directly take this confusion matrix from here that you can see over here we just drag and drop we can derive confusion matrix as well. Also we can draw lift and ROC curve as you can see over here with this and let I select this one. As you can see over here lift curve and ROC curve also we can derive scoring plot like this that you can see over here. Now from window tag we can select learning set editor that you can see over here. Again from the window also we can generate the analysis report like this that you can see over here. Now also we can check the decision tree from window tag. Also we can check the lift and ROC curve that you can see over here from here from this window tag. So from analysis tag we can stop this analysis that you can see over here. So now let me simulate neural network as you can see this class attribute means target variable and other attributes are already set. So now let me select induction method standard algorithm. Now let me click on you can select single layer perceptron, multi layer perceptron or multi layer perceptron test error rate control. So now let me select multi layer perceptron. Also you can select single layer perceptron. But for teaching learning purpose I am selecting multi layer perceptron. Just click on it. As you can see over here for the multi layer perceptron we can set these parameters. So now let I select multiple iteration up to 100 only and how many hidden layer that you want. So now let I create three hidden layer as per your requirement and data also you have to perform some try and error to select the hidden layer. Also we can change the learning rate but I am keeping it as it is. Learning rate and hidden layer affect your accuracy score and other parameter. 
so please choose it wisely now let i click on ok now let, from analysis tag let i start learning as you can see over here we have completed our iteration but it is not showing proper confusion matrix because our iteration is very less in number so now let we select once again because it is not showing confusion matrix properly so now let i stop the process by pressing stop analysis so now let i once again click on induction method and multilayer perceptron click ok so now let i select two hidden layers and let i keep as it is maximum iteration max error rate and learning rate now let i click on ok so now from analysis tag let i start learning as you can see over here now it is showing confusion matrix properly so now let me perform test on it that are we, we are going to perform on inactive examples of databases that we have already selected 30 now click on ok as you can see over here nice confusion matrix is displayed and here is our neural network now as i said from window tag we can check the learning set editor then from the window tag also we can check the analysis report and multi-layer perceptron that we can check from the window tag from analysis tag also we can check lift and roc curve as we did earlier that you can see over here so now from analysis tag at the end we have to stop the analysis thank you very much for watching this video thank you goodbye